Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lay for those of you who are new, hi. Yes, today we are going to be doing this really pretty cut crease. This is just normal neutral colors. So if you wanna see how I got it, stay tuned. Wait to see the video. Alright, so to get started, I'm starting with a fresh and clean face. Hi to my newbies. Do one thing for me. I need for you to hit the subscribe button if this is your first time here. Hit the notification bell and follow me on my social media. I will have them linked down in the description box and these are the names in case you want to screenshot it. So come on and join the family and let's get started. So I'm starting off by prepping my face. I'm using my um, Fourth Ray Beauty. It's a rose milk and I'm using this just to moisturize my face. I know it looks real suspect right here. But I'm just using this so that I have a nice, smooth, hydrated base before adding on any type of foundation. This is really important and a lot of people tend to skip this step, especially when it comes to like, you know, putting a foundation on your face. You don't want to put too much. So right here, I'm using my 4th Ray Beauty Hydrating um, Vitamin C Elixir Drops. This is a serum, and this is also great for the colder months. You want to make sure that you have, like I said, a nice hydrated base, and vitamin C helps to brighten up the skin, so it makes for a good canvas. So now for primer, I'm using my Makeup Forever. Um, I guess this is their brightening primer. And I'm going I'm also going in with my Maybelline baby skin primer the baby skin primer is so that my pores look nice and shrunken and um, the orange primer the one by makeup forever is for brightening now I haven't been getting a lot of sleep so I do need to color correct so I'm using my Maybelline color correct color corrector in peach this is, um, for my skin tone, this helps to cancel out any blues or purple tones. You wanna make sure that it's on the opposite end of the spectrum, so if you are of a darker hue, they do have a um, red one, and red is for you know darker circles. There's a yellow one for brightening, green to cancel out any like um, redness that you may have, and so on and so forth. So once I've had that blended out, I do like to do my concealer first. So right here I'm going in with my Juvia's Place Concealer. And this is in the shade number 15, 14 and this is my concealer shade. So I'm blending that out using a Juno sponge and it is a wet Juno sponge. This just helps to push the product into my under eyes. So now I'm going to do one eye off camera like that. I love that little magic trick. It's so much fun. So get a little closer. So what we're going to be using today is my Morphe. Um, this is the 3502 palette. Um, you can get this at your local Ulta or you can get it online. You can get it from the Morphe store, whatever you prefer. So to start off, I'm going to prime my lid. This is using the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 3. And then the first shade I'm going in with is Rich. It's this very nice rich brown, so the name does suit it perfectly. And I'm taking a pencil brush and I am patting that onto um, my eyelid, trying to build up that color as much as possible because I want it to be very pigmented and prominent. I want it to stick out all the way. So creating that shape, I like to do a lot of pressing and patting motions. Once I have it as bold as I want, I will do circular motions to blend out the edges just a little bit because I am going to be stacking colors. So the next color I'm going in with is the shade Ablaze, which is a really pretty like orange color. It's like a terracotta orange. And I'm patting that over the, um, the rich shade. And that is just going to be our transition to the transition. Now you can do this in the opposite order where you blend out the lightest shade, then you go darker and darker. I find that this gives me a more true to color look. They both can give you the same look, it just takes a little bit more time. So right here I am taking another shade and I am blending out, it's like a lighter like nude brown and I'm blending out the edges of a blaze and I'm also taking that same brush and going over the dark brown to make everything more cohesive. 
So now I'm taking a little bit of my, my micellar water and I'm cutting the crease. Then I'm going back in with my um, P. Louise rumor number three and I'm cutting the crease and patting it out so I can get a nice even smooth base for my next color. So for my shimmer shade, I'm going in with the shade Orb. This is also in the 3502 palette. So like sometimes I think it's just so important to be able to create a look using only one palette and not having to dip and dabble in others. So I'm using a nice pressing, blah, 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 I can't talk today. I'm using a nice pressing motion to get that shade onto the crease. And then I'm gonna go in with my brush and just touch up anywhere that I feel it needs to be touched up. Like sometimes when you cut the crease, you can lose that deeper shade <coughs> and yeah. So for lashes, I am going in with these Shop Eden Rose lashes in the shade, um, in the style Drama Queen. And then I'm moving on to face. For face, I'm using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. The foundation I'm using is in the shade Punta Cana. And I'm using a padding motion and a real technique brush to put that in. For the maximum amount of coverage, I like to use brush. Then for concealer, I'm going back in with the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. This is in the shade number 15, which is a shade lighter, so this does give me more of a brightening effect. And I'm going in with my Juno sponge to blend that out. I find that when I do my concealer this way, I don't get as much creasing, and I think that I get a more natural, lit from within type look when I do it that way. And that's if I'm going to be, you know, pairing concealers. So I'm just going to set that using whatever translucent powder I have on hand at the time. And um, to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with this Wet n Wild um, face powder. And I was listening to music and I really got into it. Let me know if this happens to you. Comment down below. So you kind of get in the zone. So now with a padding motion, I am just going to be setting my foundation. And then I'm moving on to bronzer. So for my bronzer, I'm going in my Morphe palette. This is my um, Morphe, it's their highlight and contour palette in the style 8L. And I am using the shade Debutant. And again, the music took over. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was in the zone. I'm also using that to contour my nose um, just lightly, like I'm not doing anything too like drastic. And then for blush, I'm using the Morphe W8 blush palette and I'm using the shades Provocative and Sweet. I'm mixing those two shades together. Provocative is a like orangey red shade and I absolutely love it. And Sweet is more of like a pale peach. I can't use Sweet on its own. I usually have to blend it in with something and it's usually to lighten it a little bit. So that's why I mixed it with Provocative. And I feel like it gave me the perfect cross between the two shades. And I really liked it. I was feeling it. So now for lips, I am lining my lips using, um, I can't remember which liquid lipstick that was that I used to line it. But the main color that I'm using as my lip gloss is Honey, I'm Home. And I don't think I, I uh, said what highlight I used. I'm using the Tarte Cosmetics Skin Twinkle in Volume 2 Shade Spotlight. So that completes this look. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out. I am trying to grow over here. And yeah, like I said, share my video with your friends. So yeah, until next time beauties, stay blessed.